All right, well, the sunlight is bright. Good morning, fellow Pokemon trainers. I can barely see what's going on on the screen right now, but it's Ho-Oh time. We're about to go in on the very first Ho-Oh raid for myself. Right now, for taking him on the East Coast, we're about to jump right in. We're gonna have a, a team of eight on the field, and we're just gonna see how difficult it's gonna be to take on Ho-Oh. So, here's gonna be my lineup. So I'm thinking, and also, I'm not gonna speed anything up. I wanna go through the whole thing. Unfortunately, this um, Ho-Oh is gonna have the move set of solar beams so it's gonna be interesting to see how we deal with this um i'm gonna throw my dragonites in there just because you know they resist ho-oh as well so i'm thinking that's gonna be i'm gonna throw g1 in there and i'm gonna throw in vaporeon so again we have dragonite with the strong dps you have the both two electric types which i definitely do urge you to attempt to use so I definitely would say if you have a strong Raikou and a strong Zapdos in your arsenal, I highly suggest trying to take that out because um, this solar beam, I'm telling you guys, even with seven of us in here, it's going to wreck us. And look, we got a level 36, a 38, a 39, a 37, a 29, and a 40. So we've got mostly pretty elite Pokemon trainers in this lobby, but it's going to be a tough, tough outing right now. So here we go. World's first. Hopefully, I'm gonna see who uploads before I do, but hopefully, world's first Ho-Oh going down right here, right now. All right, let's get it. All right, so yeah, we are, wow, Raikou's taking so much damage and Ho-Oh doesn't even look like he's taking anything right now. But um, I definitely want to have my electric type start off and okay, we just started to deal some damage. So again i'm really really dreading that solar i think i dodged solar beam did i just dodge solar beam that was pretty clutch of me if i dodged solar beam just now um also it's like yeah we're working it we're working it let's see what happens let's see what happens guys Ugh. all right oh solar beam yeah that hurts man that hurts like did you just see my um Raikou get one shot you have this you have to dodge solar beam you literally you have no choice guys you have to dodge solar beam no matter what pokemon you have in here oh rest in peace zapdos uh all right so raiko and zapdos rest in peace and ho-oh is still in the green so that just goes to show you how difficult this battle is going to be guys this is going to be something else all right dragonite's in here right now he resists grass attack so Again, I'm going to try to stand in here. I'm going to try to take all of the damage. And I'm just trying to deal as, as much damage as I possibly can. We're going all DPS right now against this Ho-Oh. So Dragonite's in here. Oh, Solar Beam. Try to dodge it. Yes. All right. That was so clutch. Guys, I'm telling you. If it's got Solar Beam, you got to dodge it. You got to dodge at least once or twice. All right. So there goes my second Dragonite. So now I'm down to my Gyarados and my Vaporeon. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna die out. I may have to, is anybody else gonna die out and have to come back in? Oh, snap, there she is. Uh, Pokemon Master Holly has just arrived. Uh, and I'm getting totally killed. Guys, the solar beam is real. It's absolutely intense, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to die out. So, guys, unless you have a very strong team of Pokemon, and unless you're going to be able to... Oh, there's Vaporeon. So this is my last hope for right now. But it looks like we're going to be able to take it out. We're going to have over 100 seconds. So I'm just going to die and come back in. And we're, get, we're going to get the win. So... Alright, Vaporeon, rest in peace. Let's continue this. Oh, please don't hit me with Solar Beam just as my Tyrantor comes in. Yes! Alright, cool. That was clutch. That was so clutch. Okay. Oh, in the red, 70 seconds left. Can we take it out? Again, I don't know the physical metrics for Ho-Oh, so I'm not exactly sure what it's going to take. Oh my god, my 100% Tyranitar just got one-shotted. My 100% IV max out Tyranitar just got one-shotted. We got 55 seconds left on the Ho-Oh. I'm the only one in here. I'm the only one in here. I have to carry right now. Oh my god, the team's on my back. 46 seconds left. 
Oh, he's in the red. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. 40 seconds left. It's dead. It's done. It's done. It's over. So, a team of seven. Oh, my God. Ow. All right. We got him. Lugia. Lugia's going to finish it off. Sweet. All right. So, a team of seven. Um, mostly high-level trainers able to take it out. Um, I didn't see the CP. We were able to take it out with about 30 seconds left. I got a bunch of golden raspberries. Um, a thousand stardust. And I didn't pop a lucky egg, so... Wow, 10 balls. I did work for damage in there, guys. 10 balls. So, what's the CP? 2,170. Alright, guys. 2,170 or 400% is going to be 2,222. And I'm going to go for... I, I cannot believe I did not pop a lucky egg. But, alright, let's go for it. Ouch, okay. Now I'm down to nine balls. Um, I'm def this is definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. All right, we got the nice throw on the first attempt. The other, the first ball missed. I completely missed it. Oh, I thought I was going to get a one shot on the ho-oh -oh right here. It seems to move very slowly. It's more of that majestic feel that Lugia had previously. But it's like right in front of your face. Oh, got the excellent throw on it though. Got the excellent throw on it. This should be it. Oh man, this is gonna be one of those. This is gonna be one of those days, guys. Have a good day. It shook twice. All right, so I think I already nailed the trick on how to get the excellent throw on Ho-Oh. So you have to wait for its attack movement, but it's going to be really slow. But once it starts to rise up, like a phoenix almost, but it slowly rises up. And once you hit that point, then you'll be able to throw the ball and make sure you have the circle set. So it's, it shook t three times. It shook twice for the three times that I've thrown the ball. They're excellent throw again. All right, this is the what the third or fourth straight excellent throw I've gotten on this guy. I'm pretty sure there's a glitch. Got him. That won't let you like, catch it with an excellent. I thought. No, I just got with an excellent throw. True. All right, guys. Ho oh in the Pokedex. That's going to be our six-day streak. That is some awesome stuff right there. Ho oh in the Poke. He doesn't even fit on the screen. Um, let's check the IV. Steel wing and solar beam certainly caught my attention. Attack. So. All right, so I'm going to have to go get more. World's first Ho-Oh in Philadelphia, DX1 signing out. Ho-Oh is here. Go ahead and go get yourself one. All right, guys, hold that thought. We are actually not done yet. We're going to go ahead and go into round number two of Ho-Oh. We got, we got everyone's favorite Pokemon trainer, Pokemon Master Holly in the background. Say hi. We got my boy Matt Iyer in the background as well. We're about to go ahead and take on Ho-Oh number two. So I'm back to, about to turn on my screen right now. Boom. All right, so bonus footage. Bonus Ho-Oh about to go down right now.
right, so two ho ho's down. Both are bad. So we got to keep moving with the ho ho rating. But there's going to be plenty of opportunity over the next two weeks to be able to get ho ho. This is going to be, hopefully, hopefully, world's first ho ho video. It depends on how quickly I can get this one out. But that's going to be it, guys. Now this is going to be the end of the video. DX1 signing out. Go out and get yourself a ho ho. He's out there.